What? That's not what that word says. Would love to know what you guys think of the presentation on my social media, the content and Spotify. Also to see if you think things are on the right track and what things you think I should implement that would elevate it. Should we start with social media? Mm Mm-hmm. Instagram and TikTok. We'll look at TikTok first because if he's a good creator, he'll be taking that TikTok content and probably putting it on Reels anyway. Mm -hmm. So 67.5K followers, super strong. From a really quick glance, it doesn't appear it's very music related. It appears to be entertaining, funny, comedy sketches. Nothing wrong with that. However, you will find that when you do post music stuff, it doesn't get great engagement because people aren't there for that. When you have a TikTok account, you need to have a consistent theme because if you get one viral video and the rest of the videos aren't fitting to that theme, people won't follow. But you clearly have a theme because people have followed you, but music is outside of that theme. So what you're going to find is you'll post that music focused video. It doesn't get pushed out. So this account seems to be doing great. The consistency the, of the views music is very is, impressive. For the I'd music, say, it's very hard. Considering your follower count, and then you've you've got there the half a million one. Yeah, I, I don't get the impression it's representing your music in the slightest. That is a, a dangerous strategy, isn't it? Because you can get you can get views, and you can get quality views, and people sometimes get. Um, enticed into the content that gets views for them rather than what is good for their long-term strategy. You clearly understand TikTok as a platform. You know what text is good. You understand editing, the the way to film it. You really understand. I would actually suggest having this account as your main account where potentially you're making money, potentially you're, you're growing an audience in the comedy side of things. But I'd suggest making a music-focused one, so the exact same username but with the word music afterwards, and make it music-focused because you can't expect to upload music content to this account and get results. You will get some people just because they're a fan of you moving across, but nothing massive at all. And it would be a waste of your audience to bin the account entirely, but it would also probably lose some respect from your existing audience if you started suddenly just posting music content. Could we look at the Spotify, please? Sure. Because I think that'll be very telling. Ah, we've got him a press feature for from the membership. Oh, nice. Yeah. Congrats. Um, okay, streams are, are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, pretty good. I think um, conversion-wise, that's what I expected. The fact that you got can get half a million views on a TikTok video, but you... I without looking, I'm not entirely sure the streams are legitimate. Um, I can't say without looking into them further. I would say that in my experience, the retro pop and eighties vibes tend to be real. Mm-hmm. Uh, just in general research. Uh, because it's so niche that the fake people can't make as much money from it, so they tend not to go down that direction. Mm-hmm. But we can we can certainly have a look. Um, can we go to the about section as well? So the one thousand monthly listeners. So London, Mexico City. You've had some great support from magazines, radio, and everything. So the, the music clearly is good enough. I just think the musical brand assisting that isn't quite right. Um, And that's difficult because if you look at artists like Lewis Capaldi, his socials aren't crazy, look at me, I'm an artist. However, his brand is him as a person. Whereas if we go to yours, we look at your TikTok, I know nothing about you. Absolutely nothing. It's comedy sketches and this doesn't give the audience anything about you because... Someone else could take your place in these videos and it would still be funny because it's the concept that's funny. You're obviously performing it well, but it's nothing about you. And that's what makes fans fall in love with the artist. So I think that's something you really need to focus on, whether that's adding that into this account or starting a new one and just going really heavy on personality and the music focusing. 
your decision, but I think there needs to be a change. Yeah, I think the question you have to ask yourself is, uh, you've got 67,000 followers there. Uh, how would you feel about having 20,000 followers, but you've got like 18,000 streams on every single track? Mm -hmm. Therefore, you've got a higher conversion rate. Is that for you? Is it not for you? Is TikTok your thing? Then if TikTok's your thing, then fair enough, continue doing that. But if music, as Maddie said, if music is your thing, then you're going to have to change that content strategy. Yeah, we actually have a client we're currently working with who had 20,000 followers on TikTok, purely music focused. He came to us with his debut release and said, I have no idea how to release this. I've got an audience, but I don't know what to do. And when he did drop it, 4,000 people immediately started streaming on release day. And that audience will have come from TikTok because that's the only platform where he has a following. And that's just proof that if you do grow a following surrounding the music, it's very easy to push people to go stream. Should we quickly take a look at the Instagram? Um, a little bit more music focus. I like this a lot more. Uh, the Reels has gone on to the feed there. I'd rather not have it on the feed there. Yeah, I would stay clear of doing these comedy sketches on this account just because, again, you're mixing the two together and it doesn't quite work. You have a really great brand on Instagram. I didn't expect this. Like, great fashion sense. I can kind of work out your music genre by looking at you. Mm -hmm. There's credibility already with the BBC uh, introducing and stuff. So if a Spotify editor or music industry professional was going to look at this, great. You've got a good chance of being listened to. Explains the press. Yeah. But then at the top pinned is a comedy sketch, which doesn't seem to fit this aesthetic and style. I think you just need to reevaluate. Maybe they become two separate brands. Uh, maybe one of them isn't the focus anymore. I, th I think you need to uh, reevaluate that. I've just seen it's pinned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not keen on that. But if you've managed to grow TikTok, then that means you understand the fundamentals of TikTok and how to grow from there. You've probably learned a lot in terms of how to shoot it, how to edit it, uh, what kind of things are going to take off. Therefore, you can now translate that into a more music focused brand. Yeah. Best Which most luck. people can't do it. We'll keep an eye on your account and we'll probably do a follow up video pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Um, on the people we've given advice to. So it'd be great to see you implementing some of this. Uh, I'm not sure about the highlights as well. I don't think I'd ever click them. No, no personality. I think highlights no. are a great place to show people what they're going to get if they follow you and check out your stories every day. Mm -hmm. If by following you, they get to see promotional content, press, and I'm guessing OK might be a release. They're not going to follow. They need something they can grip onto. What do you post on your story every single day? Is it... Your coffee, is it you in the gym? Is it some funny stuff going on in your life? I'd keep highlights for that. 